What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list, a good old Honda. Here we have a 2009 Honda Odyssey that's got a buy it now of 900 bucks. $900. It's listed as a non runner. It's got 199,000 miles on it, and I'll bet you can guess what's wrong with it before we even look at it. I've got my theory, and we'll get into that here in just a second, but let's take a quick walk around. The body is dinged and scratched pretty good. Tires, not too bad right here, decent. Very good tread on that tire. I'm not gonna be able to walk, but oh, it smashed into this car. Dang, son. Yeah, that's smacked pretty good. Um, let's just go around to the other side, check the other tires. Front bumper's been, front bumper's barely hanging on there. Uh, so it's, this is a, it's a, oh wow. Okay, well, that front tire's all right, but about due for replacement. I wonder why that door is hanging open like that. That back tire is in very good shape as well. It probably doesn't run. I'm fairly certain that this is this is an accurate listing, but I wanted to check it out anyway because for 900 bucks, if it does run, and I know that's a, a big if, but if it does run for $900, yeah, I'd take it all day long. I'd take it all day long. Oh, we got lots of, what is this? Dulce and Gabbana, blunt effects, okay. Boy, someone was, someone was really trying hard to pimp this minivan, weren't they? Oh, it's dead as a doornail. Okay, we got pecans or walnuts all over the floor. Seats, this is kind of dirty. Mathematics concepts. Yeah, I wonder if this is a repo. I do wonder if this is a repo. Okay, so I said I was going to tell you what I think is wrong with it. Where's the that gum hood release i see the fuel release i don't even see a hood release for this Ugh. <laughs> do you guys see it am i just missing it uh-oh oh wait a minute under the seat is why i suspected it didn't run that is a timing belt that is broken I, that's what I expected. I expected it was going to be a broken timing belt. And uh, look at that. We found a timing belt underneath the front seat. I'd still like to uh, I'd still like to open her up. But before we do, look at this rust. You can tell this is not from Oklahoma. Oklahoma cars do not look like this. Good Lord. Wow. That is wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, give me a second. Let's pop this hood, see what's going on underneath it. It took me having to YouTube it, but I figured it out. It is down here on the bottom. I hope you can see it right there. Yeah, what a weird place for a hood release. If you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't find it. So, <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that is about what I expected. Should we jump it? Should we jump it and see if it'll run? It doesn't need camshafts. Nah, valves, not important. I bet this is an interference engine too. So unfortunately, uh, not only is it a broken timing belt, but somebody already got in here and tore everything apart. And who knows where all the screws and bolts and nuts all the pieces that are missing, the accessories, who knows where all that stuff is. Could be in the back or uh, may not be in here at all. It, <laughs> well, that's a wrap for that one. For 900 bucks, I'm gonna have to pass. I think I can find a better deal on something else. Let's move along. Next on my list, a 1999 Honda CRV, and it's 850 bucks. It's supposed to run and drive, and I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I mean, a running and driving anything for $850 seems like a steal of a deal. These are great little car crossover type SUVs. 210,000 miles. She's got some miles on her. The body's not pretty. They got some rust that they uh, covered up with some something. Um, 
it's not too bad, honestly. I, I expected worse. Somebody spray painted the wheels there. Uh, the tires are in good shape. It's just not pretty. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be pretty. All it has to do is get you from A to B, right? Get you to work, get you to the doctor, that kind of stuff. Groceries, if it can do that, it's worth $850 all day long. And it's not bad looking on the interior either. I love how Honda used to have these designs, these patterns in their seats. I always thought they were really cool. I mean, it is kind of reminiscent of, I guess, the 80s and this is a 99, but still, I think it's a cool design on the interior. 210,000, that is what she shows. If I had to guess what might be wrong with it, I think I'd put a guess on a transmission failure. That would be my guess, transmission problems. The interior is not bad though, it really isn't. Needs a good cleaning, but you get her cleaned up and she'd probably be pretty decent. Look at this cup holder right here. They, were, they thought of everything, they thought of everything. Uh, we got dog hair in the back, so they loved their pets. There's a couple parts back there. Well, it looks like uh, goes to maybe windshield wipers. So maybe the windshield wipers don't work on this. Let's pop the hood. I know, I know a lot of you are probably looking at this going, what a hunk of junk. Well, let me tell you something, guys. Cars are not cheap today. They're just not, they're super expensive. So anytime you can find something that's relatively fuel efficient and reliable for under a thousand dollars, well, you better go look at it. You'd be a fool not to. You'd be a fool not to, especially a Honda. Okay, this is not, this is not working for me. <laughs> uh, let's try to, let's try this again. This is, there we go. That's just gonna have to work right there. All right, she's got a little tiny engine and a little tiny battery. Everything under here is just little bitty. A uh, little bit of an oil leak, probably valve cover gaskets. Let's go ahead and take a, a peek at the at the oil here. It does have nice, clean oil. I got a feeling this is a car that somebody probably took care of. Belts have nice writing on them. You can actually see what it says. I don't see a timing belt sticker anywhere. I was hoping maybe we would, but no. No, I don't. Leaks a little bit of oil, but I mean, with 200,000, 210,000 miles on it, you can't really be surprised about that. I don't really want to reach down here to check the trans fluid, but I'm going to anyway, just because I'm curious. Let's see what it looks like. It's a little dark, and let me smell it. That doesn't smell bad. That doesn't smell bad. It's such a pain to get this thing back in though. They buried that sucker, man. Okay. Well, let me get a booster pack on it, guys. Let's start it up and see how it runs. All right, are you ready to find out if it actually runs? I think it will. I think it will. If this thing runs and seems like it's decent, I might actually go ahead and buy this in this video. I really might. Fired right up. Well, we got a misfire. What is this? for holding your phone <laughs> it's for holding your phone out of wood needs a windshield and it stopped misfiring it's running great look at this if it's got air conditioning i'm telling you it's on man for 850 dollars are you kidding me this is a great beater car uh, I won't keep it. I won't. I might send it down to dealer auction or something like that. You know, I think it'd probably do decent out there. Got little cup holders right here. It's got an aftermarket head unit. I don't know if it works, but it's got a remote control. So I guess that's... That's something? I don't know. I don't know. Let's turn it on... Uh, Hell, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's not seeming to work very well. It's missing a few, it's missing some parts. That's okay though. Let's try the important window. The important window works. Somebody, this is from Norman. Uh, so probably a college kid. Uh, thank you for your business. 211,000 miles is when it was due. It's got 209. So it's still, it's still good on its oil change. And by the way, the AC is cold. Yes, it is. And did you see the gas gauge? Almost full tank of gas. You're kidding me. 
ashtray. <laughs> okay, a pocket knife. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. You got to know how to work these old cars, man. State Farm insurance tag up there. Like, really. It sounds great. Turn that AC down a little bit. Into reverse, just fine. It goes forwards. Backwards. Does the overdrive button work? It does. The steering feels good. Dude, right? <laughs> Horn works. Uh, no way, man. $850? I mean, yeah, she's a little rough. Let's, uh, let's open the hatch. Let's see what's back there. Turn headlights. Signals are working. We'll uh, try out the headlights. Oh, this is too good to be true. In this market, a deal like this. Wow. Uh, let's try the windshield wipers before I forget. I'll be damned, they work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's go check the headlights and stuff. Tail lights. It's hard to see, but I think they're on. Yeah, they're on. They're on. Okay. How do you open? I don't know how you open that. Maybe you need to push the unlock button. I'd like to get back there. Nope, that does not work. Okay, we found a fault. That one piece doesn't work. I wonder what this would bring at the dealer auction. I really do. Listen to her run. It's quiet. Again, not pretty. Definitely not pretty. Alternator's working because it's running on its own without the booster pack. And we know the battery was dead. So, close this hood up. Headlights, yep, corner lights. Yes, sir, everything's working. Good tires, hot damn. What do you guys think? Is it worth 850 bucks? I, I think it is. I do, I've spent more than this on junk. And this seems to be pretty nice. I'm going to think about this one. And while I'm thinking about it, what I need you to do is drop a comment down below. I mean, it desperately needs a windshield. Um, drop your comments down below. You're probably talking about $1,000 or so out the door after fees. You tell me if you think this is worth it. And then maybe I'll go ahead and throw a bid on it or just go ahead and buy it now for the $850. Next, we've got another cheap one. This one, I don't think this one's near as good of a deal as, as the other one is. It's a Nissan Rogue. What year is it? An 08, I think? An 08 Nissan Rogue. 245,000 miles on the odometer. 1100 bucks. Buy it now. Front tire shot. Window is down with a hole in it after a thunderstorm, so it's going to be wet. Back tires, really good. Body dinged and scratched and all the normal stuff you'd expect from a cheap beater with a heater. Another good tire back here. And honestly, really good tire right there. So it's probably got an alignment issue on that uh, driver's side front. Some horrible body work done right here. But again, today we're looking at beaters. All right, it's beater day. We're looking at cheap economical cars that you could buy for around a thousand bucks that you can get into and just drive home now that tire is in really bad shape you would probably want to address that before you tried to drive home oh there's no door handle okay i guess we ain't getting in that way oh wow <clears> hmm <throat> 
Okay, uh, you're gonna wanna get this thing sanitized before you drive it anywhere. That is absolutely disgusting. Wow. Oh my. Yeah, th this is, this is, na this is nasty. This is nasty. Oh my goodness. I do not want to climb in this. Oh wow. Who does this? Is that a turd? I think that's a turd. On the floor. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> you know the craziest thing? Other than how nasty this is, is somebody was wearing gloves. <laughs> was somebody wearing gloves that owned it? Oh my! There's some sunglasses. Ooh, 1,100 bucks. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that. That Honda CRV over this all day, every day. It runs though. It does, it, it runs. She may not be pretty, but she runs. Will that door stay open? Ugh. There we go. Oh boy, it stinks too. It does, it smells bad. She's not running very well either. I assume with this window down, it's probably a little wet in here. We had like torrential rains this morning pop the hood I don't really want to sit in it power steering works feels fine brakes work it's got a window are you kidding me it had a window it had a window in it window works okay <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm out let me good lord I don't I don't like touching all this stuff Let's turn on the AC Let's see if we got air conditioning. 245,000 miles. What is that noise? That sounds like a transmission. Goes in reverse. Goes into drive. Service engine soon light is on. Yeah, she runs pretty poorly. Wait, there it goes. It's clearing up. It's clearing up. The AC is ice cold. Guys, 1100 bucks. Oh, there it goes misfiring again. Come on. Come back. It cleared up. It was running perfect. And then it just started misfiring again. Come on, old girl. There it is. There it is. She's cleared up now. Nice and smooth. But as the RPMs drop, it starts misfiring again. So it could be something as simple as, you know, tune-up. I wouldn't think it's a coil. The coil should be dead regardless. But, I mean, it's possible it could be a coil. But it's not the transmission making that noise either. I can hear it coming from this side. It's a bearing. Who knows exactly where it's coming from, but it's definitely a bearing. It's got recent struts. Those struts are definitely newer than anything else under here. Look how clean all that is. So somebody was taking care of it. Just a little four cylinder. I'll bet Bunny, you throw a set of coils and a set of plugs. And this thing probably run great. Let's go check the exhaust just to make sure we're not blowing any white smoke. That's always a possibility. Could have a partially blown head gasket. There's the exhaust right there. She is spitting a little bit of water out of her. But again, cars that have been sitting for a long period of time, that, that could be just, uh, just from sitting. She's not heating up. Seems perfectly normal aside from a little misfire. Man, 
put a tire on it, a uh, set of hubcaps, give it a bath, take the blue stickers off, send it down for an interior detail, and you probably got yourself a $1,500 car. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what it's really worth, guys. Uh, but if you watch, what I want you to do is listen. Listen to how poorly it's running. Listen to how it smoothed out. And then the misfire starts again. When you start revving it, she clears up. About 25, yeah, 2,500 RPM, she's clean. Then take your foot off the gas and listen. Right back misfiring. What do you guys think, 1,100 bucks? We're finding the deals out here today, guys. Two of them, two of them. At $1,100 by now, you're probably talking about $1,500 out the door. Uh, this thing needs a lot, you know, and it's high mileage. So I don't know if this is a great deal, but it is a relatively cheap car that you could probably get in. Oh, you know what? It's got no gas, none. Zero. It is dead empty. Dead empty. This thing is so empty, it probably wouldn't even make it to a gas station. It started up and didn't even need a jump start, guys. She's a little rough. You know, admittedly, she, she is a little rough. Needs that door handle, too. I think this one, in my opinion, it's a good deal for somebody who's just looking for a car. I think this is great, man. Throw a tire on it, get an alignment, fix the door handle, throw some hubcaps on it, man. Clean it up on the interior. I think this is a great deal for somebody looking for a car. For somebody that's hoping to make any money off of it, no, I don't think so. I don't think you're going to make much money on this after you're done. Even if you do everything yourself, I don't think there's going to be a lot left on the table with 245,000 miles and the damage that it has. It's just a little too rough. Dang, it's got three really good tires. It's got new struts on the front. It does have some things going for it. Look at those. Beautiful. Um just needs a little bit of work for me if i'm going to buy one it's not going to be this one it's going to be the crv drop your comments down below and tell me which one of these two you would pick would you pick the crv or would you pick the nissan moving on well ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed today's content if you did hit the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to the channel i truly appreciate it we're going to get out of here but bleh, i will see you guys very soon in the next one